the first exercise is uh, the Phoenix flying and you're going to twist your hands so palms are facing and then you're going to pull the arms backwards behind you still twisting the palms up if you can turn your palm so it actually faces behind you i mean okay it's not possible is it but you know you do it as much you twist as much as you can <clears throat> now the feature of this type of qigong which is called Daoyin qigong is that it's a mixture of twisting and stretching at the same time also using acupuncture points and working on particular acupuncture channels so i'll explain all that more in a second so the first thing you do is you drill your middle fingers down to the floor and then you just keep twisting don't let the elbows bend and you pull the arms backwards now that's almost the entire exercise except for two things one you turn your head and two you stand onto the balls of the feet so you you don't go to tiptoe exactly we're not on point as in ballet but you do you do all that so we're going to turn the head to your left so you go drill the fingers down twisting them turn your head to the left slowly and go onto the balls of the feet and then you just put the heels back down again and the hands come back it's a really simple exercise it's not complicated now what you're aiming to do here is uh, all the as i said it relates to acupuncture channels the middle finger is actually your pericardium acupuncture channel but we've got the thumb here and we've got the large intestine here we've got the heart here there's you know there's lots of acupuncture channels so what we're trying to do is we're trying to twist like wringing out a dishcloth you're trying to twist all the channels now if you do it with soggy arms that will be soggy arms yeah where you've just bent them basically and you try doing that <clears throat> sure you'll get a twist but the twist kind of finishes there so we're actually trying to finish twist well actually a bit further than where i'm pointing but you're trying to finish the twist there let's say for the minute okay so forget the tiptoe thing and just drill your fingers downwards off the middle finger and then twist 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 keep stretching keep stretching fingers downwards so it feels like it's going right up to here yeah both sides okay that's what you need to do turn your head as well there's another reason for that which i'll get to in a bit and tiptoe another reason for that as well oh balls of feet not tiptoe <clears throat> okay so here we go we're going to do one to the left one looking right okay so twist look left breathe in and then breathing out back you come and relax okay and the other side push down twist look right and breathing out okay so we're not doing this watch me from the side one we're not pushing the body forwards you're trying to keep your spine pretty much upright as you do that you do the twisting your spine stays upright you go onto the balls of the feet because in the sole of the foot here is an acupuncture point for the kidneys so in effect we're opening up the kidney point in the feet um, as I say all the arms are being twisted here the head you're turning your head because right at the back of your neck you've got a vertebra number seven that sticks out cervical seven it sticks out more when you dip your head forward so try dipping your head forward you've got one that sticks out slightly further and you're trying to massage just underneath that in acupuncture terms <coughs> this has got um has it connects all the channels in the upper body together in effect you know to, to make a bit of a shortcut there there's rather a lot more to it but what you're doing is you're massaging that joint which connects the arms together right here we go once again so we're going to do three of them on each side so here we go one breathe in through the nose breathing out through the nose breathing in twist extend balls of feet breathing out breathing in breathing out and breathing in and breathing out one more each side in and breathing out and breathing in 
and breathing out. Okay, so I just want you to observe one thing before we do it again. What are you doing with the small of your back when you do this? Are you actually slightly pushing your tummy forwards? What are you doing with it? Are you tensing the small of your back? Are you, what are you doing with the buttocks? Are you gripping them together? Are you gripping the muscles in the buttocks? <clears throat> Try not to. See if you can really relax the bum. Okay, so here we go. One more each side. Breathing in, look left. Now relax your bum. And then relax, down you go. And other side. Relax your bum. And back. And you'll notice that one of the characteristics which we can take from this very first exercise is that one of the characteristics is that there's a moment of tension and then relaxation. And you really want to work on that relaxation moment. You're deliberately putting tension into the body in order to move the fluids within the body, move the blood, move the lymph, and also to extend the potential of the muscles as well. And then you just completely relax and the body goes back to wherever it was before, but it will have changed very, very slightly.